Welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. Today we're going to go over Pure Nexus. Uh, this is version 7.1.2. Uh, this is the latest. I think this is Jan or, um, April 23rd build. Uh, first off, before we get into anything, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what's uh, in the app drawer. Uh, now bear in mind I did flash uh, G apps with this, so uh, there's not a lot that comes with this. Um, I also uh, downloaded AZ Screen Recorder because that's the app that I use uh, to do the videos. Um, I did download Substratum and PH, uh, PHH apostrophe S Super User uh, just because I, I want root. I know this ROM does not come with root, guys. So if you want root, you've got to flash Super U or Super Su uh, or um, Magisk and, uh, you know, the Super User with Magisks, Magisks. And I decided to go with the Super User with Magisk. It just seems to work better for me. So I figured I'd let you guys see what that looks like. Uh, this is the uh, launcher that it comes flashed with. So this is going to be how it boots up. The only other difference is I changed the wallpaper uh, to a stock wallpaper, or not stock, but uh, supplied. Uh, it's actually going to show up with this wallpaper here. This is what's going to be flashed. Uh, as flash and you boot up it's going to be this wallpaper I, I think that wallpaper sucks <laughs> so guys sorry I had to put something on that was a little more uh, me which is a, a more of a darker uh, style wallpaper so uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this so uh, we'll go into the settings uh, down to about phone let you guys see now uh, this is pure nexus uh, for the nexus 6 android version 7.1.2 uh, this has the april security patches in it um, you guys can see the baseband version. Uh, I am running Blackboard, Blackbird Kernel version 2.2.2, uh, which is his latest release. Uh, and I just put a video out on that uh, for, um, you know, performance-wise, uh, what I thought of it, um, and uh, how I set up my Mako Hot Plug, uh, and basically how I run it. So, uh, if you guys are interested in running um, Blackbird, I highly recommend it. Um, to me, it is still my go-to kernel, and I love it. Uh, it does come as flashed, uh, SE Linux enforcing, uh, but with um, the kernel auditor mod app, you can change that around to uh, SE Linux permissive if you guys want. But I didn't just to keep, uh, I, I kept it the way it was just so uh, I would keep it in a more uh, stock or as flashed uh, presentation for you guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into the uh, custom ROM settings. I know that's what you guys want to see. Uh, Pure Nexus settings. Uh, under lock screen, first off, I want to take my brightness up. There we go. Uh, under lock screen, uh, these are the settings you have for that. And then we have our notification drawer. Uh, quite a few options underneath there. Uh, you do have, uh, you know, for setting up how many notifications you want or, ro or rows uh, and columns. Uh, it's set by default with three columns and I think it's uh, three rows. Uh, I like to go all the way up to five. Again, remember, guys, if you go any more than five, you're not going to be able to see uh, anything lower uh, because it's just going to get cut off uh, with the animations uh, that they have with it. Uh, but again, you guys can set it up however you however you want. Um, again, uh, this ROM also comes with headers, which is awesome. Um, I think. No, I think these are supplied headers. The only headers that are extra in here are from the themes that I downloaded, uh, so I can show you guys later. Uh, but I am running uh, six, no, I'm running Pure Nexus header. So if you guys see, uh, that is the uh, Pure Nexus header which comes with the ROM. Uh, so that's where you would set your headers up at. Uh, and again, you can go dynamic or static. It depends on your choice. Uh, if you do go static, uh, what you do is you pick browse installed headers. Uh, click on that drop down, uh, pick the one you want. You can go like Pure Nexus, find like the one I'm running now. And what you do is long press it, just press and hold it, and it'll put that header in for you. Uh, and then you'll just be running with one header. Uh, let me see, I want to make sure I didn't miss anything there. Uh, headers, uh, here's your header shadow. Uh, if you guys want that, I usually turn mine off, but uh, it's set at, at default right about there. Uh, and then browse internal uh, or installed headers, which I showed you guys what that was for. Uh, recent apps are up next, um, is what it is. Uh, I usually run full screen. Uh, and then you do have your clear all fab uh, button, and I have mine set uh, bottom left. Um, it's nice that uh, Beanstown 106 gives us the uh, six different 
uh, options on where to put it. Uh, status bar is up next. This is going to be where the, the uh, features are that I like. Uh, battery settings are here. These are your uh, battery settings or the icons you can choose from. And no, the three minute mod does not work out of the gate with this ROM. So you're going to have to um, get a zip made in order for uh, the three minute mod to work with this. Uh, you do have the show battery percentage, uh, all that. Of course, that only works if you're running with, uh, well, no, it is. It's actually showing. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to go ahead and hide that because I'm running with a battery bar. I don't need any of that, uh, which brings me to the battery bar. Uh, it does come with the uh, status bar, uh, or you can run top of the nav bar or bottom of the nav bar. If you change it, it just basically, uh, you know, moves your, your, uh, your bar down, you know, in different places, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, if you're not into just running it, um, you know, in the normal spot, which is in your uh, status bar, uh, you guys can run it wherever you want. Now, I like to keep it in my status bar, so that's where I'm going to run it. But you do have the option to change colors. Uh, here's your uh, size that you can go with, and then, of course, your uh, charging animations. Uh, carrier label's up next. It is exactly what it is. You can go with a custom carrier label if you want, or, uh, you know, just run with uh, your uh, carrier or, or none at all, which is what I'm doing right now. Uh, clock settings are up next. These are your clock settings. You uh, basically have uh, right, left, center, uh, then your AM, PM, date, date, style, position, and format. It'd be great if we'd be able to color that, but I get it. Pure Nexus is uh, he wants to try to stick as close to stock with just a few custom options. So, I mean, it is what it is. Uh, but it is, uh, again, guys, he built it this way because he wants a stable ROM. And this is a very, very stable ROM. Uh, let's see. That would be uh, network traffic is up next. If you guys want to run with that, those are your settings there. Uh, status bar icons. Again, pick and choose what you want to actually show in your status bar uh, whenever they you know, get turned on. You have your double tap to sleep, brightness control, notification count and uh, Bluetooth uh, charging if you want to show that. Navigation bar is up next. Uh, this does not come with um, DU nav bar, uh, but you know, it's the way, it, the way it works, I like it. Everything works for me. Uh, you can enable, disable the nav bar. Um, they do have the pixel animations, a one-handed mode. If I swipe across, uh, it does put um, the device into one-handed mode, and if I swipe back, it puts the screen back uh, to the full size, which is really, really cool. Um, it's a little bit small for my eyes, uh, but it does come in handy for certain, uh, for certain things. And this is something you can do with one hand. You can swipe over with one hand and swipe back again with that same thumb. Whoops. <laughs> and it will uh, put it back. Uh, double tap to sleep, kill app back button. Um, and uh, let me see, uh, nav bar dimensions are here. Um, I have it set at 52 dp. I didn't really notice a difference in size, but again, we're only talking about a couple uh, dp, so you know, uh, it is what it is. Uh, and then you have your nav bar tuner, which is right there. If you guys want to uh, swap them around, do whatever you want, uh, this is going to be where you do all that at. Uh, and up next is going to be the power menu. Now, this is where this ROM shines, in my opinion, uh, along with the headers and uh, battery bar. Um, it's got a ton of uh, options for the power menu. Um, I use my power menu a lot. Uh, I use my power menu like people use their quick settings. Um, and I love all these features. So good on you, uh, Beanstown, for that. Uh, let's see. You have your volume rockers. Uh, these are all the controls that you guys have uh, for adjusting, tuning, uh, doing whatever you want with the power menu or your volume uh, rockers. This is going to be where you uh, uh, adjust them at. Next up is going to be display settings. Uh, you have your expanded desktop, a wake on plug, uh, three fingered screenshot. I love that feature. Um, it was, as soon as you enable it, uh, basically what it is is uh, no matter what screen you're on, you take three fingers, touch the screen, pull down like that, and it's going to take a screenshot. That's awesome. I love it. Um, next up is going to be nav bar uh, or your navigation lights. Uh, I have mine set up for uh, green right now. I don't think it has. Um, I don't think it has, uh, no, you can't actually have it flashing. Uh, depending on the kernel you're running and the ROM, um, I do know that some, uh, I know Blackbird kernel's got it working great. 
Um, so I know the ROM I was testing previous to this one, uh, I actually had the LED flashing and it was flashing perfectly on the Nexus 6. I'm not used to that. So, uh, But it's not on here. Uh, again, Beans is going for more of a uh, super reliable ROM and that's what, that's what he wants. Um, here's your battery lights. Uh, this is where you're going to change them up if you want to change them around. Next up is going to be media and notification. Uh, double tap power camera uh, for your vibrate. Uh, basically turn that on or off so when you do double tap, it will vibrate. That way it lets you know that it, it actually uh, took the double tap. Uh, power notification contr uh, controls. Come on. There you go. Uh, your peaking notifications. These are settings for that. And your low battery notifications. Uh, last but not least are going to be miscellaneous. Uh, it's going to be your toast icon. Uh, which I like that. Uh, scrolling cache, these are your um, choices for that. Uh, then you have by, uh, vibrate on uh, connect, vibrate on call waiting, and uh, your vibrate on disconnect. So that takes care of all of the custom settings um, in Pure Nexus. Um, and whenever you guys download Substratum, or uh, if you flash Super User or uh, Super Sue, they're actually going to go into the settings like you see here, which is another nice feature. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go through display quickly, let you guys see that because I normally do. Uh, really nothing out of the ordinary on this. Um, it's pretty much all the same. Sound settings. Uh, he does have the link, um, the switch to link your notification and ringtone together or separate them if you want. And I love that feature uh, because I like to run mine uh, separate so I can have my ringtone all the way up and then I can turn my notifications all the way down. Uh, it's just a really nice feature to have. Uh, vibrate. Uh, uh, you have your also vibrate on calls. Do not disturb. All that's there. Uh, your ring phone or your ringtone settings and that. Uh, these are your other settings. And I have all mine shut off just for the video, so it doesn't inadvertently uh, set off, you know, whatever, and um, blow you guys' eardrums out for those of you that are running with headphones on right now. And that's it for sound. Cast is all the way at the bottom, along with screen pinning. Uh, or no, cast is all the way at the, bottom, or at the bottom. Screen pinning is in security, if I remember correctly. Um, I am going to hit security. Oh, gestures. Uh, if you guys aren't familiar with that, uh, you do have uh, uh, the jump to camera and uh, lift to uh, check phone, which is basically like ambient. Uh, under security settings. These are the settings that you have. As you can see, I am not encrypted. Uh, this, I, this ROM does not force encrypt, by the way, guys, just so you know. If you're new to it uh, and you're wondering whether or not Pure Nexus encrypts, no, it does not. Uh, let's see, make sure you have your unknown sources turned on. If you guys are into or if you want to uh, install uh, apps from your internal storage or uh, from a buddy on, on your Bluetooth or whatever, you're going to need that turned on. And screen pinning is all the way at the bottom. Uh, last but not least, I am going to go ahead and hit the developer options so you guys can see them. Uh, not a lot uh, different in here uh, that, that I'm not used to seeing on any, other, uh, on any other ROM or anything that I've already went over with you guys before. Uh, make sure you have your Android debugging turned on. Uh, guys, uh, that is really, really going to save your ass uh, if you hit the wall or hit a wall with your phone. Um, and it becomes unresponsive for you to push a, for you to push ADB. Um, it's a lot better to have that switch on uh, in order to help you out. Some some uh, ROMs are set up that it just works, uh, but I highly recommend you turn that on. Uh, Windows animation. All the animations are set at 0.5 right out of the gate, which is really nice. I think that's about perfect for nougat, at least uh, from my perspective, anyways. Um, but you can change that to whatever you want. Uh, it just depends on uh, your likes and needs. And that is it, guys. Um, I can tell you right now, the ROM is awesome. It's running great. Uh, Substratum is OMS and not Legacy. So uh, if you want to, uh, you know, if you want to run those OMS uh, themes that have extras in them uh, that you can't run with Legacy, you're going to be able to do it with this ROM uh, quickly. Um, I'm going to let you guys see that the theming works. Um, and I'm not going to build them because I've already, uh, I've already built them. All I'm going to do is just enable them quickly. 
and pause it while it's doing it. All right, it is all, it is all set. I figured I'd uh, pause it while it was uh, setting up. Plus, if you guys notice, I have three different, well, actually four. Um, I have three different themes on here. There's a reason why. Uh, the theme that I'm running right now is a combination of all three of these themes. Uh, the base theme being uh, neon blue, which I showed you guys. Uh, fonts and uh, nav bars from 6ROM. And the, uh, the quick settings are from uh, Substratum Vivid Icon Set. This one right here. Uh, the one underneath that I happen to load by mistake. It's still another nice theme. Uh, but the one I like to use most is the one on top here. Uh, so basically these three right here um, are the combination. I'll let you guys see it. Uh, it works very good. Uh, I had no issues at all with the uh, theme or um, it applying or working. It's, it's just great. It's fluid. It's pure nexus, guys. Pure nexus runs and runs and runs. Um, it's like uh, six ROM. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's just an outstanding ROM. Um, uh, phone, uh, let you guys see the dialer real quick, let you see what that looks like with this theme. Uh, contacts, it's got a nice dark look to it. Uh, Play Store, quickly, uh, that's what the Play Store looks like. I really do not like the look of the new Play Store, I'll tell you that right now. Uh, um, and it, it, I just have a heck of a time trying to find uh, my apps, um, and it's so small you can hardly see it. I just don't like the way Google uh, went with that. Um, but I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I just wanted you guys to see that theming works, um, and it's, it's just great. Everything's working on it. Uh, again, guys, this is Pure Nexus, uh, version 7.1.2. This is the latest release from uh, Beanstown 106 uh, for the Nexus 6. So if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. I want to thank all of my subscribers, and I will see you guys on the next one.